All right, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yeah, and I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to an update video regarding news on PSG striker Edison Cavani. Once away, Uruguayan elite marksman who's probably slightly over the hill but is available and could do Chelsea the world of good. Chelsea are in fact in negotiations with Paris Saint-Germain to try and secure a type of deal that would see them get Cavani as a short term option. Now Cavani wants to go to Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid wants him, but there could be a deal that's worked out here that suits all parties, including Cavani to play some football for six months. That's a little bit complicated, but it's interesting. I'm gonna give you the lowdown, but before I do, please do subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not already done so. Click subscribe, 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 the bell notifications icon, like the video. Right, let me give you the information. Right, so Matt Law of The Telegraph has recently published an article just about an hour ago from when I'm filming this, giving the information on the Cavani to Chelsea proposed transfer move deal. So I'm going to give you some of the quotes from Matt Law's article and give you my take on it. Chelsea are involved in a standoff of Paris Saint-Germain over the French club's £12.6 million valuation of Edison Cavani, with the striker's parents claiming he wants to go to Atletico Madrid, which we already know about. The views of Cavani's parents have not yet put off Chelsea, who are concerned about Tammy Abraham's fitness moving forward, and probably the fact that they've just got no other options up front, and he's carrying the team emotionally, uh, like with the pressures, as well as the physicality on his body, he's a young striker. But Chelsea faced quite the task trying to secure the 32-year-old in Cavani. Cavani, who was asked to leave PSG, has emerged as Chelsea head coach Frank Lampard's top January target, which I kind of know about. He was waxing lyrical about Cavani when he was asked about him, and since he's been talking about a short-term option. Starting to make sense. Lampard is prepared to shelf his desire to sign a left back and a winger until the summer to focus on getting a striker this month. Again, makes sense. The biggest problem, as you know, as I know, I've spoken about on this channel many times, is finishing off chances. That's the priority, certainly till the end of the season. So Atletico have already seen an offer for Cavani turned down, and they're probably trying to sit tight and just wait for him until the summer. So with the Eurogrind's contract due to expire at the end of this season, PSG would rather have an agreement with a permanent for a permanent deal to allow him to leave this window basically make some money for him. And they value Cavani at 15 million euros, which is 12.6 million pounds. So here's the whopper. Cavani currently earns around 360,000 pounds a week after tax and without bonuses. Oh my God. It's just that PSG money, isn't it? That's crazy. And Chelsea believe, understandably, that 12.6 million fee on top of this salary and, and his age is just too much. Thank God there's a bit of sensible thought here somewhere. This is where it gets interesting. Chelsea would rather pay a five million pound loan fee and take his wages off PSG. So they don't have, because he's not playing, they're paying these like incredible wages. So that would come off their books and they'd still get five million. But as it stands, PSG is sitting firm and waiting to see if Atletico come back with a better offer or see if Chelsea change their stance. Head coach Frank Lampard is in need of a new striker and could be hastened if Abraham, who's injured his ankle against Arsenal, is ruled out for any length of time. Understandably. Chelsea were on Wednesday waiting for the bruising and swelling on Abraham's ankle to go down before they can make an assessment and like have a scan and stuff. The 22-year-old would not have started in Saturday's FA Cup round against Hull. Thank God for that. And with the January transfer window closing 11pm on the night before their next Premier League game, which is away at Leicester City, Chelsea can afford to sit tight and see if the Cavani situation changes. But they are aware that if it comes down to a straight fight between them and Atletico, the Spanish club may currently hold the advantage. This is what Cavani's dad had to say recently interviewed. He wants to join another club in Europe. It would please me that he plays here at Atletico. Simeone wants him now in January. But the head coach of Paris Saint-Germain, Thomas Tuchel, has also said he needs him to help compete in the Champions League. Tuchel was like, yeah, he's a great striker. I'd like to just have him as an option to the end of the season. I think there is a strong chance he will go to Atletico. The option to join the club always remains in June this summer. There are lots of other clubs, but when you give your word to a team, you respect it. If tomorrow he's available, then Atletico still want him, I think he will sign. He is a player who needs time to play, and today he only plays four or six minutes per game. Pretty sad, really. 
PSG are treating him unfairly. And then Cavani's mom weighs in and offers some similar context to the situation. It's complicated, but he wants to play for Atletico. And if it's not now, it's in the summer. <laughs> Pretty much. It's good to hear from Chelsea fans. We have been eager for some time, but it doesn't depend on my son, but on PSG and Atletico Madrid. We understand their position, but what we don't understand is that they only want him to stay, then they only bring him on for six minutes. They are not treating him well considering what he has given to PSG in almost seven years that he has been there. Right, so superb knowledge from Matt Laura as usual. Writing for the Guardian, he's got strong connections with Chelsea Football Club, so everything he says generally is all legitimate. So what do we know about the situation so far? We know that Chelsea probably really, really, really want Cavani just for the six months to secure them top four, to secure them Champions League for next season so they can attract their top targets say Jaden Sancho etc and everyone can breathe and be happy. We know Cavani doesn't really want to come to Chelsea or certainly not necessarily as anything against it but he wants to go to Atletico Madrid but if a deal can't be struck and, and Atleti are happy to just take him in the summer maybe this can work out for all parties including Cavani. He'll see Chelsea as a club in London, southwest London, you know, get to move to a lovely place in London and see out into the summer, taking some of the culture, playing a team that creates loads of chances. Now remember, he's a centre forward that gobbles up half chances. He'll say, oh, Chelsea are putting balls into the box, I'll score goals here, put it on, you know, my resume, I played in Chelsea for a while. Why not? What's to lose? I'm not playing at PSG at the moment. I will end up in Madrid regardless. Why not just spend six months in southwest London helping out Frank Lampard and co and carrying on getting paid my huge wage? It could work. Like I said, so from Cavani's perspective, that might work. New experiences, actual game time to keep up his match sharpness before a summer transfer to Madrid. Chelsea get their man and their sort of security to try and secure top four and score additional goals for the rest of the season. Tammy Abraham won't feel undermined because sure you're bringing in this experience to help out for this season but you won't think oh this is not a big name that's coming in to replace me this is just a guy to literally help us see out the season and then from PSG's perspective they get his wages off the books which is obviously huge for them but also they get a five million pound loan fee on top so PSG will often struggle to balance the books they can't turn their nose up, you know, away at like a few million quid, basically. So, for a club that doesn't want to let a player go, for a player that doesn't want to come to Chelsea, it actually looks like this weird, peculiar deal that could be constructed makes sense and could actually suit everyone involved, after all. Like I said, this is not a rumour, this is what's happening. Matt Law has strong connections to Chelsea Football Club. He often breaks stories before anyone else, and he has someone, I guess, on the inside. Now, I'm sure you've been watching my recent videos on what Chelsea need, and like I said, I'll reiterate it again, it is someone to finish off these multiple chances that Chelsea are creating and not capitalising off and not scoring the goals. Not only that, he will bring a level of seniority to the front line and calm things down. And remember, he'll try incredibly hard because he's a professional, but he won't panic. He won't have this same fear that the rest of the Chelsea team have. Like, oh, we might not miss, we not, might not make up for. We're all a bit young and inexperienced and not mature. He'll be, in fact, entirely the opposite. He'll be super mature, super professional. I mean, in a way, in, you know, he probably thinks with the greatest respects to Chelsea, I don't really care what happens to you. I'm just going to score goals and do what's best for me. That probably is the exact mentality that would suit this Chelsea team right now. It is an interesting one. Chelsea don't play another Premier League game until the window shuts. So it's plenty of time to negotiate. Obviously, they've got an FA Cup game. Fortunately, it's against lower league opposition, so they can rotate hopefully enough and still take home the W. But Frank Lampard was saying in his post-match interviews, this is obviously a sort of testament to where we're at. This is what we are right now. You know, we're doing all the right things, but this is what we are. Sort of shout out to the board. Now it's up to you. You do something. You know what we need. You know what I've said. You know what I've said is a priority position. We might all have an understanding of what the general plan is moving forward and in the future. You know, Jaden Sancho, maybe a Moussa Dembele or another younger striker to sort of rotate with Tammy Abraham and a left back. Ben Chilwell, Alex Tellers, who knows? There might be a full plan, a future plan for across the pitch, 
but right now for that security for that insurance to sort of definitely try and get top four you need the goals you need to be finishing off the chances and it also screams needing maturity up front edison cavani ticks all those boxes and if chelsea can secure a six month loan move that takes uh, the, his wages off psg's book give them a little bit of a loan fee Atletico get him in the summer anyway. If they can all get in the room, shake hands and understand and nod, then that could be perfect for Chelsea Football Club. Anyway, what do you guys think? I've asked you every video, but get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on Edison Cavani. Would you think a six month loan move from PSG would suit Chelsea perfectly? Do you think he'd score goals in the Premier League? That's what I want to hear from you guys in the comment section today, so get down there and let me know. Remember to subscribe if you are new to the channel, and if you've enjoyed the content today, please do like the video, guys. And why not follow me on social media, on both Instagram. Remember, I always say it, but no one really follows me on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram, at FootballYannick and on Twitter as well. That's it from me, guys. Remember to stop by every single day. I'll keep you updated on all the Chelsea news. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.